Welcome everybody to how to make a crown roast and accidentally cut yourself in the same time. Yes, I accidentally cut myself right there. So, trying to cut an onion into little chunks, like little cube chunks, and... This is the uh, stuffing I am working on, by the way. Just one little onion, one big one. Slice so as it matter, that's what she said. So, yeah, that's. That's what I am working on. Yeah, uh, next to add some. About half a loaf of bread, in my case, gluten-free bread, because I am a celiac, personally. And it's not a hipster thing with me, it's an actual food allergy. <laughs> like to cut the bread into, like, squares. With celery, like the, as well in those little cube thing chunks. With an apple, like to just get as much apple as I can off. And like I said, squares. Yes, apparently I'm a square head. I also like to put about a pound of ground pork in and with nutmeg, allspice, cinnamon, salt, uh, pepper, um, I'm trying to remember what I all put in and this was a couple days ago. Uh, do do yeah, cinnamon. I'm just eyeballing it, so it's about a tablespoon of all the spices. Yeah, before I put the stuffing with the meat, I make the crown roast. I mixed it well, really well. Not make. I mix it real well because in I in this situation it's still a little frozen and the day after the next day it was like frozen. Yeah, my Andy helped me with the cutting out the ribs. Like if you can get your butcher to do that and it's great, but trying to cut the meat out from each individual rib. I think I personally like to save as much meat as I can because it's an animal that got killed. And that's pretty much after the fact of what it looked like. And yeah, I clean it a lot more better up. Yeah, with the time, it pretty much, I know this is a shit angle right now, but I put some, some string and tied it all together. If, if your rack of pork still has the spine attached, I would recommend cutting it a little bit and this new selling it up so you can actually like like 
tie it all together. That's what I'm trying to think about. How I cleaned up the ribs is I took a piece of butcher string long enough that I can wiggle the back and forth on each rib until as much of the meat left over from the rib came off of the bone, which might have not been perfect, but it's more better than what it was. On the day of the on the smoke, put the stuffing on and in the roast, and yes, I barbecued mine. I like to smoke mine at roughly 250 degrees until, like, you know how to do ribs, right? Until probe tender. It's not that hard to figure out. With the stuffing, I like to do it until 170, 172. And this is what the final product looked like. It really, really tasted so good. Cut it up and enjoy. Thanks for watching, people.